So if we were increasing an investment account, uh, we would see it go through the checking accounts, the general idea. Then once again, we could have income from that, which might be in the form of dividends and interest, which if we were getting the checking account stuff from it, we would see that come through the checking account and we can record that as we go. If we're reinvesting the dividends and interest, then we'd have to get the statements, right? And record the, the increase that are due to dividend and interest uh, that way uh, into the system, which would be an increase in the Primerica. And then the other side would be income, dividend and interest, which you might put on the bottom of the balance of the income statement. It's your, if it's not your primary income as other income instead of your primary income, and then we have the issue of this stocks and bonds we're saying held under the account of Primerica uh, going up or down in value. So then if we're going to record that, there's a couple ways we can do it. We could take the possibly the statement that you might get monthly or quarterly. And if it went up in value, then I can either increase this account directly and then put the other side somewhere. Most likely income is the easiest thing to do but you're probably going to have it called unearned income on the income statement somewhere as other other income at the bottom is what I would think most people would probably be the easiest thing to do. Or you could make another account, which would be a sub account of Primerica so that you can have the actual amount that you invested versus the amount that is gain or loss, unrealized gain or loss. So if you were to do that, I could go to the first tab just to show you. And I'm going to I'm going to go back to my chart of accounts. And let's go into that account again and let's let's make another account that's going to be a sub account of primerica called unrealized gains and losses so i'm going to say new and i'm going to say this is going to be an asset type of account and it's a sub account of primerica and i'm going to call it unrealized gain slash loss primerica unrealized unrealized i didn't realize i could i could not spell unrealized i did realize that i'm quite aware of my spelling deficiencies so now you can track the cost increase and decreasing over here and the unrealized gains and losses the unrealized gains and losses would not be coming through the bank feeds or anything like that because there's no financial transactions. It's just the value of the thing that you're holding went up in value, which you can determine from the statements, which is determined from the market because other same type stocks are trading at that point in time for whatever the value is. So you'd have to enter a journal entry increasing, or you can use the register increasing the unrealized gains and loss. Other side going to something like uh, unrealized gains and loss, which would be an income statement type of account which would be an other current uh, uh, other income so let's enter one just to show you what it might look like so I'm gonna say okay we got our statement the statement says that the value of, of Primerica is higher by $500 let's say so I'm gonna go okay I'm gonna go into my view register it's not gonna go through the bank feeds I'm just gonna enter a journal entry and I'm gonna say it's as of whatever uh, 10 31 22 and memo, we're just gonna say adjust to to fair market value or something like that. It increased by 500. I'm gonna set up another account as we go. It's gonna be an other income type of account. So I'm gonna add another account. It's gonna be an income account, but I wanted to make it an other income type of account, not just income, other income. So that'll be at the bottom instead of the top of the income statement. I'm gonna call it other income other miscellaneous income hold on i have it as an expense i'm going to say other income and then we're going to say other investment income and i'm going to call it then unrealized gain loss let's just call it that boom and so there's the other side let's see what this would do if i save it then now I can go in, into my balance sheet and I would I would do this periodically when the statements come due and I can say, okay, the total in my Primerica accounts, uh, where did they go? Are right there. Our 10,025 is what I invested. That's the cost. Plus they went up in value by the 500. 
So the total value is now at the 10,525.50. And so if I sell it, I can kind of see what the unrealized part is. You might, you might not need to do that. You might just put this right in the Primerica area, but then that gives you that little breakout to see you, you get a, a quick look at what your, your, your gain is over time or loss, if it was loss. And you can collapse it to see just the Primerica uh, total. And then if I go to the tab to the right, and we run it again, we can then see that the unrealized gain is at the bottom because it's not part of like your normal income. So we're gonna put it down here at the bottom of the income statement instead of the top of the income statement. Now, if you were doing this for your personal finances and it was your, your ordinary income, then maybe you just record it as, you know, your income is from dividends and interest and whatnot, you might put it up top. All right.